talk about the four fragrances in the Jean Paul Gaultier Scandal line in circulation here in South Africa and helping you find the one that is going to best suit your needs. Everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tabby. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. So there's four fragrances in this product lineup, but I only have three in my collection. And I do want to give a special honorable mention to Scandal Gold, which I sampled a few months ago, but did not really feel the need to urgently have it in my collection. And I do feel like my experience then was different to what I would, how I would experience the, the fragrance now. I think my, my sense of smell has evolved over time. And I'm able to tolerate a lot of the fragrance notes that are listed in that fragrance. And some of those notes are patchouli, honey, rose, saffron. There's also leather and superior oil. And to me, that fragrance smells like a, a very metallic, leathery, and spicy rose. And if you like fragrances such as Hibiscus Marja by Amazing Crivelli, I think that you're going to like Scandal Gold. I don't think that they're the same but if you like one you definitely like the other but like i said further sampling is needed in that regard that is jean paul gaultier scandal gold everybody now i'm going to start off with the og this has notes of honey caramel beeswax jasmine gardenia licorice a bit of mandarin and a blood orange and it smells to me quite like a honey caramel cheesecake if the base of the cake were to be sprinkled with a little bit of a lemon zest and also some licorice syrup to it it is very bold and unapologetic in its sweetness and i can see how that can be a little annoying for other people for some people and how they can perceive this to be a little juvenile for me though it doesn't take itself seriously and i find that to be alluring about this fragrance this if you go easy on this on the trigger you can even wear it to the office however i do think that this is suitable for more intimate settings like your date nights or your sexy this is my second bottle and i've never really had issues with performance when it comes to this fragrance and i've never not received a compliment so that tells me that it projects very well and when it goes out it is well received by those around you i think i can smell this on myself the entire time that i'm wearing it if i spray too much though i'm going to make myself sick so the only way to enjoy this for me is if i go easy on the spray i think it does give a nice sweet bakery like central behind you again this doesn't take itself seriously and if you don't take yourself seriously i think this is the one that you should get your nose on if you haven't already tried already tried this fragrance the next one that i want to talk about is the scandal Le parfum now it hasn't been long since this was launched this this launched here in south africa and this was gifted to me by the arc store this has a predominant note of jasmine caramel there's also salt listed but i do not pick up much of the salt as well as vanilla though i have to say that i do get a bit of some masky nuances and maybe some fruity nuances to it even though it's not listed this to me smells like a bakery surrounded by a beautiful white flower garden with a little bit of greenery this is sweet it is warm and it is powdery now the jasmine in here though it is listed and it is quite pronounced i think the use of the caramel helps lessen the indolent nature of the jasmine and i think it makes this fragrance suitable for even the jasmine haters and it's going to be suitable for women of all ages because i do think that this is more feminine you can wear whatever you want now this fragrance is going to be suitable for all types of occasion if you need to wear it to church, it's going to have you smelling sophisticated and godly. If you need to go to, to work, you're going to smell, you know, professional and sexy. If you're needing to go to brunch, you're going to smell playful and elegant. It's going to suit most occasions where you need to show up smelling good and feeling your best. Now, performance on this hand is not as beastly as the original, but it's also not a shy fragrance. You're going to smell yourself the entire time that you're wearing this fragrance. It's going to project loudly for the first two three hours and then it's going to pull back however the people who are closer to you are going to smell you and they're going to give you compliments you're going to be smelling sweet and sexy this is sexy this is jean paul gautier scandal le parfum everybody the last one that i want to talk about is the jean paul gautier so scandal this one is different to the other two that i've discussed there are some similarities with the other two in a sense that they are all they are both warm sweet and spicy this one is fresh it is fruity and it is slightly lactonic this has listed notes of tubers raspberry milk and orange blossom this smells to me like 
a fruit punch if you were to use more berries in the fruit punch and you were to put a couple of scoops of ice cream and have them floating on the punch and have a couple of edible flowers in the punch this is going to be a fragrance that you need when you're going to informal occasions like brunch you're wearing a nice white flow dress you're sitting on the deck overlooking the ocean with your friends and gossip is just flowing and the people around you they keep looking at you enviously so because you guys just keep laughing because the gossip is that good this is a fragrance that is going to suit that type of occasion but i think you can wear this to the office as well if it's casual fridays you can wear this and have it fit the bill you can't go wrong with any of these if you're looking for a sexy dead night fragrance that you, is going to have your man eating out of the palm of your hands then the og is the one that you're looking for if you're looking for a nice a playful flirty fragrance to wear to you know your brunch or your lunch date with your girls the soft scandal is going to be the one that you're looking for if you're looking for a versatile fragrance that you're going to wear to the office wear to church wear to the funerals and sometimes wear to the airport then the scandal the scandal le parfum is the one that you're wearing for me though the scandal le parfum is my number one in the comments below tell me which one is your favorite in the pinned comment is another video for your viewing pleasure like this video and have a lovely day everybody <laughs>